Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the technical department. From the topic reduction and enlargement of plane figures, I'll be showing you how to reduce and enlarge a quadrilateral. This is another direct method. You will first draw your given quadrilateral. Draw a horizontal construction line and identify 20 millimeters on this line. Label the points you identified A and D. With the use of your T-square and a set square, you will now draw a perpendicular line from point A. Now measure 45 millimeters from point A. Identify this point and label this point B. Now open your compass to a radius of 40 millimeters. And from point B, scribe an arc. Now open your compass to 30 millimeters and from point D you will scribe an arc to intersect the previous arc you drew. Identify the intersection of arcs and label this intersection as C. Now draw a line from point D to point C and from point B to point C. Now outline your required quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Now estimate the center of this quadrilateral and identify the center. Now from this center you identified, draw construction lines from this center through all four corners of your quadrilateral. Now that you have drawn lines from your estimated center through all four corners, you will label this center as point P. From point P, draw a line through BC at a convenient angle to you and divide this line into eight equal parts. So open your compass to a convenient radius and from point P, scribe intersecting arcs to this line that are equally spaced. Label the intersections of the arcs and the line from 1 to 8. You now need to reduce this quadrilateral based on a given reduction ratio of 3 to 5.
So ABCD will be reduced in the ratio of 3 to 5. First draw a line from the fifth division to point D. Using two set squares, you will draw parallel lines to B5 from point 4, 3, 2 and 1 to touch the line that was extended from point P through B. The set square to the left must be held stationary. It must not move. ABCD must be reduced to a given ratio of 3 to 5. Identify the point on line PB that was divided by the third division. It is now from this point that you will draw a parallel line to BC that will touch the line PC. Now at the current intersection on line PC, you will now draw a parallel line to line DC. Use your two set squares to do so. This parallel line must intersect line PD. Now from the previous intersection on line PD, you will draw a parallel line to AD. Use your two set squares to do so. Finally, draw a parallel line to AB. This parallel line will complete the reduced quadrilateral. ABCD is reduced successfully. Outline the reduced quadrilateral. Now label the reduced quadrilateral A1 to D1 accordingly. The given quadrilateral ADCB was just successfully reduced to A1, B1, C1, D1 based on the given ratio 3 to 5. You now need to enlarge ABCD to a given ratio of 8 to 5. To do so, draw a parallel line to line B5 at point 8. Use your two set squares to draw this parallel line. Draw the parallel line from point 8 to touch the line running from P through B. The enlargement ratio 8 to 5 is the reason why the previous parallel line was drawn. Now draw a parallel line to line AB from the last intersection of lines to touch the line extending from P through A. This procedure is easily done using two set squares. Take time and manipulate your two set squares for this to be accurate. Your lower set square must remain stationary and must not move. Now from this intersection that was just produced, Draw a line that is parallel to AD to touch the line running from P through D. Ensure your lower set square is L stationary. 
Now from this latest intersection of lines, draw a line that is parallel to DC to touch the line that is extended from P through C. Finally, you will draw a line that is now parallel to BC. This line will be drawn from your latest intersection of lines to touch the line that was extended from P through B. Now outline your enlarged quadrilateral. Now label the points of your quadrilateral from A2 to D2 accordingly. Now your given quadrilateral A, B, C, D was reduced to A1 B1, C1, D1, and also enlarge to A2, B2, C2, D2. Order your paper and complete your title block. Mm -hmm.